What's up guys, Saxon Good Time Gaming, and today I'm going to be helping you guys unlock the Arbiter Grenade Launcher. We're going to be taking a look at two of the four side jobs that you have to complete in order to be able to unlock the Arbiter, Chemical Weapons, and Mike. So let's not waste any more time guys, let's get right into it, starting out with Chemical Weapons. To start out, we take a look at the Chemical Weapons side jobs. This one is on Rats. You can play on any difficulty, it does not matter which difficulty. Um, there will be a key on day one, day two, and then on day three, you will find the actual weapons case itself. Um, just note that escapes do not count. So if you get an escape, there's nothing to find on those because it's not actually part of their main heist. Now, we've seen the key spawn a couple different places on this map. Uh, here are two that we have seen. First off, the microwave here, and then also out here inside of the shed. Um, there is one there. I've been told by a friend of mine on day one that he has found it downstairs on top of the uh, one of the freezers in the basement. So check out that area as well. Something to note, um, I have not seen them spawn like in random corners. Um, so they're not going to be in places like where you might find, say, some of the packages, like on the outskirts of the map. I've not seen them out there. That's not to say that they may not be out there. Um, but I've not seen it happen so far. No one's told me that that has been the case. So look on top of you know regular structures look on top of things that you might uh, generally be around anyways but again as far as day one goes that is where we have seen them on top of the microwave and then out in the uh, first shed on both of our attempts on day two we have found them up inside of the apartments the first time on a dresser as you guys can see here and the second time on a counter again not to say that they may not be out somewhere in the middle of nowhere but if you're coming to this heist looking for this look in these places first. Look inside of the apartments, on the counters, and on the dressers, just in the general vicinity of the apartment um, complexes themselves. Last but not least, on day three, we're looking for the weapons case. The weapons case we have seen spawn way out here in the middle of nowhere, as you guys can see. And then right here along the um, inner side, on the left. You can see it's kind of by the um, hole here, sort of, kind of. Once you have gotten that, you will get a audible, um, you know, yeah, sound, you know, that you get with your side jobs. And then also, assuming you got all three parts in one run, or you got um, your third part, your last part you needed in one of the heists, and you finish it, you will see at the very end of the heist, you'll see gauge spec ops case unlocked. Go to side jobs to claim your rewards. So once you have done that, you will have finished the side job chemical weapons, and you'll be ready for the next side job mission. For this video, we're also going to be covering the mic one, so let's get to that one, guys. The mic side job covers framing frame. Much like rats, there's going to be one key and then, of course, the actual weapons case on each heist. So on day one of framing frame, we found the key very quickly. It was on the um, front desk here by the cop, as you guys can see here. So literally walked right in, and boom, there it was. Day two, I was a little more concerned about where we might find this one, because it's kind of a big map. There's a lot of weird little nooks and crannies, but... My friend Shade here found it upstairs inside the main warehouse on this uh, wooden box here. Don't really go out of your way to start out with. Look at the very obvious spots first because it might actually be there. And last but not least on day three, could not be any easier, we found the weapons case on the elephant's desk. So a little more obvious than what I would have expected um, for this heist as far as where these um, items are going to be at, but not difficult to find by any means. Overall, pretty easy one. So with that guys, we are halfway through getting everything we need to unlock the new grenade launcher. So that will do it for this video guys. In the next video, I will be covering the other two heists and the locations where we found the keys and the um, weapons chest. Hopefully that'll help you guys find it for yourself. But I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Axiom Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. Remember to always have a good time gaming.